What's up, dog? How are you, baby? Good to see you. Looking fit. Oh. Looking good. I'm just trying to keep up with you, dog. I, I, when I saw the final cut of the video, I was like, oh, yeah. Dog was in shape. Those are a lot of crunches you have to do to maintain that kind of physique. But look at you. You look svelte and thin and chiseled. Looking good, my man. I got to tell you, though, man, um, thank you so much for having me on the track. For real, dude. It's, a, it's an honor to be rocking that shit with you. And I, I just remember, you know, the first time, well, kind of how the conversation had started is we were out on tour together. And I remember sitting at catering and you rolled up and, and it was, I think it was like towards the end of the tour too. I think it was like, oh, you know what? Even before catering, I think we had talked on the side stage when we were rehearsing with um, Hollywood Undead. And mm -hmm. I think you just kind of threw it out there at me. You were like, because we had done that track together with Hollywood Undead and we were rehearsing for that live video. And you were you said something to the effect of, yeah, I'm doing this video. I got this song, American Psycho. And, uh, you know, I'm looking for Paul. And I was like, oh, that's sick, dude. I, I love that flick, man. <laughs> that's, like, that's, I mean, honestly, when it comes to films, that's definitely up there on films that I love. And then I remember sitting at catering like an hour later and you were like, sit down next to me. You're like, did you want to die in a music video? <laughs> or do you want to die on film that's what it was that's what it is that's my that's my go-to line it's like do you do you mind if i just kind of lodge an axe in your head and, and sing with me and you're like absolutely dude and uh over a year later here we are and and thank you so much for being a part of it um i've always admired papa roach i've always admired your voice and i knew that that this part would fit you so well because you are such a great front man and i, I gotta tell you your acting was really good in this. You know, a lot of people tend to, if they're not actors, and I'm not an actor either, to like overplay the role and you just yeah. did it perfectly and, and you killed it and then I killed you. Yes, <laughs> fortunately it ended well. Dude, I got, I got to tell you, you know, acting for me is something that I'm not necessarily consider myself good at. Um, but after I did that part with the retaliators and working with Michael Lombardi and Sam, um, they really kind of discussed with me and taught me about just the subtleties of it. They're like, this isn't a Will Ferrell skit, dude. It's like, understand that like you're, you're inside this little box right here. Like you the action all sits within this space and everything that you do is just embrace the subtleties of it. And I think that that advice really, it, it stuck with me. And doing my part in the retaliators kind of prepped me for, all right, now I have an opportunity to like act this part in your music video. And I'm, you know, when you asked me about, you know, playing Paul in the video, I was just sat, I sat on it for a minute, you know, I was like, should I do this? And what got me, honestly, what really got me was when you sent me the track and I was just like, oh, ooh, this is a fucking banger, dude. And it's like top notch track for real. And that's what really drew me in. But thank you for the compliment on the, on the acting in it. Uh, when I was watching the video back, I was like, all right, this is good. Like it, it came out really cool. And I, uh, it's the first time in a music video that I've actually sat still ever. On the ground, yeah. Yeah, man. And it was like, it was such a cool, I, I, cause on my way down to the video, you know, I'm listening to the song and I'm vibing on it and I'm, you know, I know the treatment in my mind and I'm going, okay, like, am I, am I performing this thing with the band? And I remember showing up on set and you were like, no, nah, man, you're going to be like dead on the ground, <laughs> you know, with your face in blood, dead pan to the camera. And I was like, oh, that's dope. That's like, that was, what a cool, what a cool idea. It really, it, it came off rad. Oh, and thank you being, for being such a, a trooper with that. You know, laying on the ground is not as easy it look, as it looks. It's really uncomfortable. <laughs> and I appreciate you playing ball with that. And, and what's funny about that whole idea of being on the ground was something that I kind of came up with, like, on the one yard line, like maybe nice. that morning or the day before, because we were trying to figure out, okay, if Jacoby is Paul Allen and he's already been killed, 
what's a cool way we can have him perform? I was like, let's just have him dead on the ground singing it. How dope would that look? And I'm, I'm so um, grateful that we had such a, a great team. Jensen, the director, uh, Phoenix, the producer, yeah. all, all the DPs, like they made it look so cinematic. And uh, I'm just so stoked with how it came out. And it's so cool to see such a great reaction for the video. Biggest reaction we've ever had of a music video, the most plays, the fastest. And, and I have a lot um, to, to thank you for that. So you just, you crushed it. And I can't wait to do more collabs with you in the future. Fuck yeah, dude, that's dope, man. It's funny, man, because uh, once, you know, once the video had premiered, um, not only am I a fan, but my kids are fans as well. My son, Mikhail, is like a Uber fan. Like he's into it, right? And so he's watching the video, he watched it over and over. I'm like, how many times are you gonna watch this damn video? It's like, no, nah, dad, now I'm watching reaction videos. And so <laughs> we sat down and we threw it up on the big screen and we were watching uh, Ice Nine fans and P. Roach fans reacting to the music video. And it was just like so many good compliments and so, ma so many people were really, first of, all, first of all, loving the track, but then loving the imaging and you know the video behind it all. And it was cool to see because I never really sat down and watched reaction videos. And I'm like, yeah. I just went down this rabbit hole and I'm like, oh my God, there's reaction videos to everything. It's like, yeah, the, the internet is a strange place if you get lost in it. Oh, hundred percent. But it, it, it's so fun to watch those videos too. And I went yeah. down a rabbit hole with that. And it, it's cool, you know, as I'm sure you can relate when you create music and um, you have so long before it actually comes out, you know, yeah. you know, we recorded this song, we started recording it over a year ago before we did that tour with you before COVID. So that opportunity that we get as musicians, as songwriters to eventually see the reaction, especially in real yeah. time is such a rewarding experience. And um, I I'm so glad that you had fun with that too. Yeah, absolutely, man. It's like, I, I know the feeling of sitting on music for a long time. I got a, I got a question for you about that. So like, say you get a record done, right? Um, are you the type that's like, do you obsessively listen to it up to the release of the record? Or do you just kind of let it sit for a while and then go back to it and, and jam to it? Or are you just like, you're just jamming it till the fans get it? Like what, what, what's your, what's your play on that? I'm sort of in between, like I definitely get obsessive and I like beat it into the ground by playing it too much. I'm either like really stoked or is there a song that I'm like, is this right? Is this as good as I thought it was? And uh, I think I've learned that there's so much to be said, especially like in the last phases of an album when you're tweaking little things and doing final mixes, like you got to get that perspective and step away as hard as it is. Just getting like that few days of not listening to it you come back with fresh ears and you come back with it uh, more like how other people are going to perceive it. You know, yep. how about you? I'm a, I, I obsess like right after we write the song and demo it, I obsessively listen to it and I'm critiquing it and I'm trying to figure out where the holes are and what can, what can be fixed? What can be changed arrangement wise? Is it the right key? All those things, you know? And then it's like, once I get through the tracking process of like the final tracking, and then it gets mixed, it's like, all right, I'm done with it for a while. Like I've just enveloped myself so deeply in this thing and I'll put it away. It was like with our new stuff that we've recorded, I had to put it away for a while. Cause I, I know I'm gonna, I was like, I'm gonna play this record out and be tired of it by the time it <laughs> drops, you know what I mean? And so I just have put it away for a while and, and now I'm finally kind of going back to it and listening to it in little dabbles again. And uh, it's exciting. You know, and then it's like after the record's released, I'm just like, I'm done listening to it. I'm, I will not put it in my car again. It's like, let's go perform it. Absolutely. And what's yeah. so cool about you guys, you know, your, your career spans so far back and uh, you guys continue to write all of these bangers and watching you guys play when we were on tour in Europe with these songs, you know, some of the songs, the, 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 the earlier hits that you've been pay, playing for 20 years or so, I, I can tell that no matter how many times you've played a song, when that crowd goes off like they do every night for you, I could still see that that twinkle in your eye where it's like, this is probably just as exciting as the first time you heard, you know, a last resort because just that re that undeniable reaction of, of everyone singing it in a Papa Roach crowd is, is just so awesome to see. 
And uh, un unless you're acting up there, I, I, I could tell it's fucking genuine as hell. Oh, yeah, man. There's an authentic excitement coming off of it. You know, it's like, I just feel that connection is just, it's infectious, man. Honestly, dude, it's like, that's my, that's my straight drug of choice. Like that connection and that experience. And it's, I, I live for it. You know, it's like, and I, and I also live for watching other bands have that experience too. It's like, and it's when I really kind of fell in love with your band is when I saw you guys live and I was like, Oh, I get it. Cause I can hear, I can hear <laughs> records and it's like, I like records and I, and, and, and that's an element to me, but it's like, it's so important to me to see a band be able to pull off what they're doing live. And it's like, you guys are like, it's theatrical. It's, it's hilarious. It's dark. It's twisted. I love your dry humor that you're throwing into the set. And it's like, there's just this, like, it's insanity, but focused. And I'm like, when I saw you guys, I, I watched you guys on the regular on that tour. And every time I'm just like, all right, this is legit. Like Spence brings it. <laughs> You're on point. You're on key, dude. It's like, how many singers have I seen that just, and it's like, you're bringing it on key. And so it's a, it's a pleasure to, to be able to share the stage with you and do, and do those shows, man. I definitely love to, uh, to tour again together. I feel like that tour will not be the last one that we, that we dip together out there. Cause it's a cool, it's a cool dynamic and combination, I think between our bands cause, and the fans love it, you know, just like you guys are fuck just nutty. And then we're coming with our just bombastic, energetic rockness. And it's like two great tastes that taste great together. I love it. It's, it's a perfect compliment. Uh, the roach to the, to the ice. It's a perfect compliment. And I think that, you know, we gave them just a taste of it with that European tour. And, yeah. and now that the, 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 the P roach and in camps have really further collided with this, with this song, I think there's going to be this crossover there that is, so cool and um i'm just honored that you are part of it and and speaking of new music i gotta tell you guys that i got the pleasure of hearing some new tracks you know we happened to record um our album um with a guy named drew falk who you guys yeah. collaborated a bit with Absolutely. for the new record and and i'm just so excited for people to hear the next chapter what can you tell me about uh you know how are you guys feeling to have all these bangers lined up and and, and get it out there Oh, dude, I'm, I'm more than excited. You know, honestly, it's, it's, a. Uh, I can't wait. <laughs> honestly, I'm like, fuck, dude, we're not dropping a record till next year. You know what I'm saying? And so it's like, it's, uh, my patience is wearing thin, but I know that we, we work very diligently and craft, put a lot of care into the crafting of this album. And I feel it's like, all things great Papa Roach meshed into one, you know, cohesive album. And uh, like you said, when, uh, when I got to play you some of our stuff, it's like, I got to, you know, when I rolled into the studio, I was cutting a vocal, one of the last vocals for our record. And you were, I think, finishing up some vocals on your stuff. And so I got to hear, I pr you probably play me like five or six tracks of the record. And I got to tell you, man, it's like the evolution of your band and the songwriting and, the themes that you're bringing on this album and, and the connections with the films. It's like, it's honestly, it's genius, dude. I, I, I gotta say, it's like, I think we approach uh, songwriting, uh, maybe the craft of songwriting in similar ways and, you know, getting the melodies and that whole thing. But I'm just so impressed by the way that you, you know, your love for horror and the way that you find a way to make it your own. You know what I mean? And it's like, it's, it's, I've never, ever seen it, anything like what you're doing be done. And I think that's what makes you guys so special is that it's like, you're pulling things from pop culture and film that things that I grew up on, right? Things that I've loved. And now it's like coming back at me in this, in, in a song. And that's what I, I just, it's genius, bro. Honestly, it's like, and like with all your merch you're dropping, like your your merch drops are sick, dude. We've been watching what you guys have been doing. And I'm like, they got, dude, y'all got the cheat code, man. You are killing it. It's like, you got it, <laughs> you got it figured out, dude. I just- Well, thank uh, you, man. Yeah, shout out to you, man. Cause it's like, and, and your fan and, and your fans, right? They love what you're doing. It's like, they're eating it up. And I, and it's, I admire that, you know? Cause for me, it's like, 
I've been around this game for many years, right? And I've seen a lot of bands come and go, and it's it's far and few between where I see creators come through that are doing something that people haven't seen before, right? And it's like when I see you guys coming with it, I'm like, take notice, watch these young bucks kill it, and just your, <laughs> your hyper focus. It's like when we were on set, it's like. I could see you, right? You're on, you're on set and you're running the part in your mind. You're, you're pacing your steps, you're doing it, and then you go execute it. And I'm like, yeah, dude, this dude's a master at his craft. Well, thanks, man. I, I really appreciate those compliments. And it, it, it really just, it comes from that place where I've always been in a, a performer inside because I, I've always been obsessed not only with music, but films. You know, I was always the guy that wanted to memorize every single line with every inflection. And if someone else would do it and they would say, and instead of that, but, uh, uh, you fucked it up. So I was that pain in the ass guy. Um, and I probably drive, I know I drive my girlfriend crazy talking over movies and quoting the line, shut up, Spencer, let the actor do it. I'm like, no, no, I'm going to do it. But uh, yeah, it, it's, it's, it's been uh, a quite a trip. And um, I'm so glad that, that we could share, uh, share this moment together and uh, just, just bring the brutality. But at the same time, like you touched on it, because it, it all comes with that sort of wink towards the camera that we're having a good time. You know, we're not taking ourselves super seriously. And to me, that was always the most fun of going to the movies. It's like, we're just doing escape here. And uh, I, I'm just, I'm just sto so stoked that, that we could have um, someone like you be a part of it because we've admired you, as I said, for such a long time. And uh, we aspire to do what you guys have done, which is, is to have that career that isn't just a moment that you guys have been able to, to make this thing uh, take on this life of its own and, and, and still just crushing it and playing to huge crowds. And, and uh, I, I, you know, tip, tip my hat to you guys because it, it's hard enough to have that little bit of success, but to be able to parlay it into uh, this long thriving career is uh is incredible. And I, I hope that uh, we, we even have the fraction of that, what you guys have. Oh, dude, I got to tell you, man, uh, you, you got, you got what it takes. 